What is up everybody, it's Taylor here and I have an honest review of the Remarkable 2 tablet that I'm going to share with you right now. This tablet is really good. I do have some pros and cons that I'm going to share with you now. Okay, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you like this video, please like it and add any comments down below that you have questions or comments that you would like to share. Okay, and here I am. On with the show with my full review of the Remarkable 2, the wonderful tablet that I have here in front of you. And honestly, it is a very, very fancy way of keeping notes. The screen is specifically made to feel like you're writing on paper. And of course, it keeps you organized, it keeps you on the spot, and honestly, it is, it's like a really cool piece of equipment. Okay, so I've got pros and cons, and I'm going to start with the cons because that list is shorter than the pros. Comparatively to paper, it is pricey. So it's pricey for paper. This model, I think, was six, seven hundred bucks, something like that. But I did get this leather pad folio in addition to the smart or smarter whatever pen that goes with it that also has the eraser thingy on the bottom. Uh, so I did pay up for a couple of the items that I did get. The tablet itself I think is like 400 and some bucks. Uh, so it is more expensive than a notepad, obviously. The next con is actually something that deeply affects me. <laughs> so you need to organize your tablet before you start using it. So on the main page, you have the ability to add quick notes, you have the ability to add folders, notebooks, different things like that. But what I did is I just started making pages and pages and pages without actually organizing them in the smartest way possible. So now I look back and it's a little bit more work because I can't exactly search for things easily because I have pieces of information over here and then I created a notebook for it and then now there's all of it over here and you cannot switch something. So once you start a sheet somewhere, it's not like you can just like drag and drop it into a notebook or a folder. It stays there. Uh, that's my next con is that you can't change the documents. So if you do have something very important that you want in a specific spot, you cannot move that like you could on a desktop or Mac or whatever. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, the other con that I see is that you can only write in black and gray. So if you're a colorful person and you have color coded notebooks, and planners and things like that, like I do. You can't do that with this tablet. Now you can do what's called highlighting and you can highlight and I think it's red and yellow, but the highlighting only shows up when you transfer and you send this document into your computer or like into your email system, when it moves it to like a PDF. For what I use it for on a daily basis, you can only use black and gray. Okay, I would have expected more. <laughs> But that's just me. Okay, and then the last thing that I'm gonna say as a con is that you do have to pay for the premium connection after like six months or whatever. And I think the premium connection is just the ability to send versions and documents of those versions, of those documents <laughs> to your email address and back and other people and places and printing things and, and all that stuff. So what I use it for, I don't need the premium connectivity, so I don't see that as a huge deal. But if you did have this with the intention of transcribing or moving or sending it to somewhere else, you would need to pay for that premium connection after that six months is up. And I think it's maybe like six or seven bucks a month to continue that for however long you want to have it for. I totally understand why they did that. They're moving towards that subscription-based business to ensure that they have revenue month after month after month, even after they've sold you this one tablet. So it makes sense and you're obviously paying for that service, but for me, it does not make sense for what I use my tablet for. Okay, that was my cons, kind of a short list. Okay, now my pros are that it is just nice to have. You have less physical notebooks, you have less physical lists in front of you to lose things, to lose your thoughts and things. I really like having it all in one place. The next pro that I love about it is that I get to see and feel and experience my own handwriting. For those of you who really enjoy journaling and you enjoy taking paper notes, this is a really cool way to continually do that, but on an electronic version of that. I always struggled with typing things out. So if I'm typing out notes or I'm typing something out, it seems like my brain connection isn't as close as it is if I were to write it. So if I'm in the middle of a meeting or something like that, if I'm physically writing my brain connection to those actual notes is stronger, that's science, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. So that helps me with my memory on what I'm writing. Okay, so the next pro that I have is that you can stay organized. 
So like I said before, you can have folders, you can have notebooks, and then you can have like regular quick sheets. So for example, I have a folder full of my daily lists. So every single day I have a new, you know, file basically underneath that folder. I can also go back and search. So if let's say I am taking notes about something that I'm learning in a training course in the Apex network that I'm a part of, I can literally go back in there and search for whatever it is that I want to search for. So that's really slick. The next pro that I will say is that it has really, really nice writing. So it writes really well. And if you are anything like me, I'm a huge pen snob. So I love to have the best quality pens at all times, the best quality paper. And this is a really nice substitute for that because it does write really well. It feels very rich, very elegant when you're actually physically writing and I I love that. Okay, the next thing that I will have to say is that this is a very durable device as well. I am not dropping it from the second story window. I'm not using it to, you know, clean on or like, you know, whatever. Like I don't use it for intense purposes, but from what I have used it for on my desk on a daily basis, it's really durable. It's a pretty sturdy machine. <laughs> That's not the right word, but you know what I mean. It is also nice because you can use this tablet anywhere. So you don't need the internet to use it. You don't need anything specifically. So you can literally just turn it on and it just starts right away, which leads me to my next pro is that it has a long battery life. So I can use this for a few days, maybe even like four days in a week, kind of like on and off type of thing. And it will not drain the battery completely. So. That is really nice that I can use this to count on and not have to recharge it every single day like I do my phone. I mean, obviously I'm using my phone significantly more, so that's a poor example of what to compare it to. But anyway, so that would be another great pro is that it's got a very long battery life. The next thing is that it is very quick and very responsive. So if I'm swiping through pages or I'm writing and erasing, it happens very quickly. I don't have to wait for something to load. I don't have to wait for this or that. The next pro is that you can email documents. You can send things to print them. You can do these nice fancy things. However, I just don't use that. Another thing that I don't use is that you can do what's called layering. So if, for example, this is the best example that I have. If you are using this tablet to create a layout of a backyard and you're adding landscaping and trees and grass and concrete or whatever, you can literally make one page and then add a layer and then add the next, like in the different tiers or the different stages of your project that you're working on. And it can be put all together or it can be expanded all as separate sheets. A really cool tool that I just don't use, but it is still cool. The next thing on here is that you can use multiple designs of the actual paper. So instead of just keeping it as one blank page or lined pages, I like to use the graph paper or even the hexagon designs to kind of jazz up my notes. And honestly, depending on what it is that I'm writing, it is kind of fun to have some additional design options that I can choose to make it more personalized. And then the last thing that I will say as a pro is that you do have multiple writing utensil options. So if you are in the tablet here and you click over to the calligraphy pen, that is my favorite font, my favorite you know, writing utensil to use is the calligraphy pen. You can use a paintbrush, you can use pencils, markers, ballpoint pen. So you can really customize that to what it is that you want to use. In addition to that, you can change the stroke thickness of it. You can do thin, medium, thick. And then again, you can do the different colors as well. Pretty much as much as I use it, I use it multiple times a day for lots of different things. So if you're considering buying one, I would definitely say it's time to make the jump. Unless you have an iPad that you have, you know, the, I know there's a screen that you can put over the iPad. And if you actually enjoy using your iPad, I would say that would probably be a better fit for you. But I don't have an iPad and I take notes on the regular. So this is a very, very easy investment for me to make. So that is totally up to you. But let me know what questions you have down below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. And I appreciate you sticking around to the end of this video. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you on the next one very soon.